Hello Capricorn, how are you? It's me, Anissa from the Stereo, and I'm back again doing your October 2018 reading. So as usual, I'm going to be covering your relationship sector, meaning that you can always apply this with anyone. You could be with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, exes, crushes, and family member, colleagues, co-workers, anyone. I'm basically just going to pick up your relationship energy in general, okay? And please don't, also don't forget to check your Sun, Moon, or Venus sign because I tend to realize that with my readings, I resonate much more with my Venus sign rather than my Sun sign, okay? So how are you guys doing right now? Capricorn, I'm kind of like nervous tomorrow because my Capricorn cousin wants me to do her reading and it's just nervous when it's your family, you know? <laughs> so nervous. It's so nerve-wracking. Okay, so you have the Six of Pentacles as your overall energy, and then you also have the Nine of Swords in here. So there are certain things that gives you like a lot of anxieties, things that you try to keep quiet, things that you try to kind of like say to yourself like, no, 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 but it's just ca keep on haunting you over and over again. What I love about this energy of you, Capricorn, that you are able to compartmentalize and shelve them where they belong. You know what I mean? A healthy person, someone who could actually manage their emotions, would have the ability to shelve her emotions or his emotions correctly. I mean that this is the shelf for their love life, this is the shelf for their children, this is the shelf for their work, this is the shelf for your family, your friends. And when one sector is having a problem, it will never take a dominant effect into other areas of your life you know what i mean and i love the fact that although you guys are feeling that way you are able to shelve those things where it belongs the six of pentacles also kind of like highlight or emphasizes your ability to give without even asking anything in return to be very very generous when it comes to giving i only need one more card please <clears throat> okay you have the ace of swords so there are certain things and information that you get, not when you were looking for it, you know. I feel like you guys have been kind of like quiet in the cold about something, but then you try to look for it and you didn't find anything and you try to kind of like rest your mind about it. But when you rest your mind about it and you, in Indonesia we call it pasra, meaning that you just kind of like give it up to the universe. And then when that comes when you guys give it up to the universe is when that information kind of like sinks into your life. And I love this Ace of Swords. It also talks about acceptance. Do I got the challenge? Have you communicated? I don't feel like you have communicated like everything. You're still trying to kind of like put the pieces or the puzzles together. What is challenging you? You have the Six of Wands in here. Um, this relationship doesn't give you the sense that you are a priority, you know what I mean? It doesn't give you the sense that you're celebratory, it doesn't give you the sense that you're victorious about it. That sucks. It doesn't even make you feel good about yourself, you know, especially if you're a woman. This relationship doesn't make you feel like you're the goddess, like you're, you're their priority, like you're the winner, you know what I mean? And then you also have the temperance card in here as your overall challenge, kind of like this relationship is actually bringing like a lot of imbalance into your life. But with the six of pentacles in here, I feel like you're trying so hard, as hard as you could to keep things going without them having a total dominant effect into other areas of your life. I love, I love that energy for real. You have the two of pentacles and you also have the full card in reverse in here from their side. I mean that you're dealing with someone who... Because the Two of Pentacles in this particular deck of mine is a little bit different, and I interpret it differently. It kind of like emphasizes that they are the type of person who, and they're not a bad person, I'm not saying that, okay, but they are actually the type of person who would want to have a relationship that is very, very lighthearted and carefree. Not something that is heavy, heavy, serious, not something that you talk about your future, you plan about your future, and you would do it methodologically to reach that future, you know what I mean? They're in the process where they, they're in a phase where they felt like they want to get to know you better and they just want to have fun with you, they just want to share something carefree with you, but they don't really want to take the responsibilities of a relationship in the past. And you also have the full card in reverse in here, so it's someone not wanting to take that giant leap of faith and make this relationship happen. <clears throat> I 
they still very very young at heart and it's it's not age specific right knight of pentacles what the reason for that being is because they are so focused much more on their money i feel like this person is money wise it's looking good for them it kind of like makes them having like a bigger dream in life and they're focusing much more on that so if you want them to put your relationship for as a priority it's not really their priority you know what i mean you have the hierophant card here see how different it is this is you this is them you want something real you want something that is traditional you want something that is conventional they want something lighthearted. you you yeah they want something lighthearted. and in some ways i kind of like felt like you guys feel as if like you are the the wiser person in this relationship you have the four of cups in here okay because they didn't take the giant leap of faith you guys just kind of like shuts down and wait for the rain to pass kind of like isolating yourself a little bit you could be dealing with two people though if you're dealing with two people uh you <laughs> if you're dealing with two people you know the advice actually in the past you guys should focus on your money a lot because the first person the person a just wants to have something carefree and lighthearted. they just want to get to know you better they still want to have an adventure together with you whereas you are already in this state the harifin card and person b is not willing to take that giant leap of faith with you and it just makes you sad i feel like if it's two people person b just makes you lost your will to fight for them i'm looking at the mascara now with someone who only wanted something lighthearted and carefree with you you guys are having this pride competition who is stronger like they really believe what they their argument is the rightest one like you know if it's only one person this person again as i said they only want to be carefree and lighthearted like if you have like a ongoing wait a second why is it no i'm uploading something i'm sorry <laughs> oh such a sagittarius thing to do but anyway if you're dealing with one person only Again, as I said, this person doesn't want to fight with you. They, they, they are not the type of person who, you, who wants you to sit them down and having like this heart-to-heart -heart talk and talks about something that is heavy, heavy, heavy. They just don't want to do it. Why? Because every time you guys kind of like discuss something that is heavy when it comes to relationship, this always happens. And they don't want to do that. And then now they just, focus, they just want to focus on Three of Cups, um, building something you giving birth of something new you know the three of cups also talks about they wanting to have a relationship where the friendship aspect of it also is as much as the lovey-dovey aspect of it meaning that they would want to be friends with you and develop that uh, lovey-dovey sense with you before it even gets to something that is much more serious you guys right now you have the six of cups so regardless of how heartbroken and how it gives you like a lot of brain fogs and anxieties you have this tendency to look them in a very very nostalgic way you know what i mean and it is something that is kind of like makes you still believe that this relationship is worth it to fight for so you still see that a future with them is something that is still interest that interesting in you and you have the three of cups in reverse, uh, three of swords in reverse in here, meaning that you were getting out of a period of a heartbreak. But it's still very, very much painful for you, but you try to keep it pretty, you try to keep it positive with the two of cups in here because you're so in love with them. 
I feel like it's either you believe it's like a something that is meant to be, something that is like a twin flame connection or a karmic or soulmate relationship with them. I'm going to have to mess Let's see what the future holds. <clears throat> if you're dealing with two people, however, <laughs> If you're dealing with two people, however, I think like you have a tendency to kind of like string these two, peop two people together. But the thing is that in the now, it's kind of like quite difficult for you to work things through with, with, with someone who you feel very, very nostalgic with. Why? Because there is like a little bit of a pride competition going on. And rather than focusing on that person, right now you're kind of like focusing on someone who is kind of like much more new or someone who kind of like come into your life in such a surprisingly way. The reason why you love, uh, you see them as something that is very, very attractive towards you is because they're just something new, something that you never, ever encountered before. There is that sense of familiarity that comes with them, but they just makes you happy, and that's all that matters for you in the now. However, in the future, I feel like, you know, with the will of the year in here, something will make you both kind of like come back to one another, to person A, someone who, who you're having this battle with. Because you have the will of the years, either you meet them at a crossroad, you meet them at grocery stores, it's just something, something, and yeah, and there are going to be ten of pentacles in here, meaning that they are going to be much more stable than they are in the past. If you're dealing with two people, then person B is going to have like a major, major trust issues with you. Yeah. If you're dealing with two people, I feel like person B, you're kind of like, is going to let them go because they're going to be kind of like having like a major trust issues with you. And you, you see, you, you know, right now you kind of like value them so much in the future. I feel like you don't appreciate them as much as you guys do in the now. You know what I mean? And the reason for that being is because right now you kind of like felt nostalgic towards someone. And then in the future, you got to, there's something that the universe kind of like plans so that both of you kind of like interact with one another and it's kind of like it's going to be like quite a happy ending in the mid of october for both of you because they have the ten of pentacles so they're able to kind of like provide you with a collective happiness a collective practicalities and everything like that okay but if you want to go back with this person try not to push it though you know give time time just give time time I feel like in the future, you guys are going to be kind of like much more patient with this Empress card. I mean, you want to be the center of this person's universe. But what I love about the Empress energy is you're going to be much more understanding. I feel like this person in the past that you were dealing with were, was able to make you feel like a goddess in some ways. That's why you, you know, when you kind of like meet them and they're so nice to you and they care about your collective happiness and the collective practicalities of the relationship, you are willing once again to become the center of their universe. So yeah. As the newer person, I don't feel like you guys are going to um, appreciate them as much as you appreciate them in the now. If you're dealing with one person, however, again, as I said, something will happen, something that's just like, you know, circumstances that is happening that makes you kind of like bond closer together. This person still does have like a lot of feelings to, to you. Uh, there's like a lot of sense of familiarity with it. They want to still be together with you in a sense of emotional and in a sense of practical, meaning that commitment and everything like that. But also at the same time, they do have like a major trust issues with you, something that kind of like turns you off in some ways, the trust issues that you have together. But I feel like in the future, you are going to be much more patient when it comes to dealing with this person's trust issues. <clears throat> Although you know deep down inside, you know, this is kind of like, is like a little bit of a false offer that you kind of like lose your lose your faith if you know if you were to kind of like invest in this relationship will it ever um continue and progress into becoming the ten of pentacles but i feel like you guys are just going to kind of like go with the flow with it yeah all right so i think that's it for my reading for you capricorn i see you guys in a few days for your bi-weekly bye-bye